Hello everyone, how you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iOS 15.1 Beta 1. So, Apple released this update today. They just dropped it a few minutes ago and I rushed towards my studio, connected Ethernet cable, connected the fastest Wi-Fi possible and updating my device to this one. I managed to notice some new changes and improvements in this update which I am going to talk about in this video. Also, I will be talking about every single new feature in this update later tomorrow because where I live it is really late night at the moment so I can't cover it in few hours so you have to wait for about five six hours for that video don't worry consider subscribing and turn on notification without wasting any more time now let's get right in today's video shall we so this update came around 380 MB on my iPhone 12 and about 480 MBs on my iPhone 7 about 500 you take it as 5 500, right because uh, the update was about 589 MBs which is almost 500 MB. First of all a change that I noticed is that earlier I was getting and not only me a lot of you guys were also getting a pop-up after clicking on use Apple Watch to unlock your iPhone. It was unable to communicate with your Apple Watch. Well this feature seems to work for me now and uh, I hope so that it is working for you guys too now because earlier on the beta one some people were reporting this was an issue for them and i even experienced it myself so i can confirm it it works for me now let me know down in comments below that is it working for you now or not bear in mind you should be on the latest update uh, the latest beta of watch os 8 also it seems like apple did tweak the performance a little bit because the geekbench scores on my device is a bit better compared to the earlier version here on the screen you can see the earlier what was the scroll that I got earlier compared to what is the scroll that I got right now. So Geekbench score seems to be a bit better on this update. Now talking about the battery life. Well battery life is something that I can't report it right now because as you guys know I just installed the update a while back and I have to use this on my device for a couple of hours if not a couple of days in order to report what's the battery life on this update compared to the previous version but so far it looks pretty much the same no difference compared to the beta one as of now what i'm seeing but as always i will be reporting with the battery life on this beta version later tomorrow or day after tomorrow in my follow-up video so look out for that video well talking about my iphone 7 after installing this update yes by the way it was only 500 mbs but still this update took quite a while to install on my iphone 7 yes you know it took barely any time to install on my iphone 12 yes it was a bit slow on my iphone 7 but eventually after some time it did got installed and and uh, by the time you're watching this video, I have I am using my uh, iPhone 7 on this beta but the clip you are watching is not on the 15.1 version because even at that time I was not able to update my iPhone 7 to this firmware but talking about my experience right now as of editing this video uh, the experience have been pretty much the same as the beta one I'm not seeing any major improvements in terms of pretty much anything yes I know iPhone 7 users you guys are really pissed off with the battery life the battery seems to be a little bit better but uh, you know as I said I have to use devices in order to report how is the battery life and uh, come back at you after a while anyways now talking about the wi-fi because some people were having wi-fi drops on their devices so some of you guys like i got three four people commenting and uh, uh, just dming me on my twitter at the rate tech hype you can dm me if you want and if you have any queries or if you have any type of issues on your device i will talk about it in my future uploads so one of you guys said that uh, you were having wi-fi drops on the beta one of ios 15.1 though i have a good news here it seems like apple have fixed the wi-fi system here because earlier the guy who said that he was having this issue he downgraded his device to the ios 15 and it was working completely fine for him and uh, in the latest beta the beta 2 that i'm on right now I am not having so far uh, right now I'm not having any issues related to Wi-Fi maybe 
they have faked it maybe not it is just that we have to wait for a while for people to report this issue to me so that i will get to know about this issue and is this issue widespread i don't really think so that this issue is actually widespread this is this can be like what i'm thinking is this can be an issue for certain people's device this can be a hardware issue rather than a software issue yes there is 90 percent of the time this is a software issue but if this is not as widespread as i am seeing right now maybe you guys should get your iphone checked to the nearest apple store talking about the green tint issue well some people were talking about it and saying that the green tint on the iphone 12 still exists i am so damn confused you know iphone 13 is already out and uh, iphone 11 pro and pro max had this green tint issue too but uh, it was resolved in the ios 13.5 whereas we are on the ios 15 and some people are still reporting green tint issue on the iphone 12 so uh, what uh, comes in my mind is that uh, if this issue is still not fixed for you guys it can be that you guys would be eligible for the replacement program or apple may be doing replacement program of this displays in the future as we recently saw in 2021 if i remember yes few months ago apple did actually started a display module replacement for the iphone 11 series for particular model numbers so maybe you guys would be able to redeem that uh, replacement or they would actually give you a new device which will which will be pretty darn sick you know i wish if this will happen i wish my iphone was also affected because i am not seeing it on neither of my iphone 12 pro or on my iphone 12 but yes i don't think so that this green tint issue will be fixed via software update because if it would have been fixed via software update it would have gotten fixed way back than we are right now come on we are already on uh, another version uh, another iteration of iphones and uh, you are telling me that iphone 12 series is still having the green tint issue nah i don't think so and uh, i would recommend you guys checking that green tint is a thing on your iphone 12 or not and letting me know down in comments below that does it still exist also if you are using iphone 12 and after updating to this firmware the green tint issue is gone let me know down in comments below it i would really really appreciate you guys for real though i will make a video to aware everyone uh, that uh, apple have fixed the green tint issue because you know this is really really frustrating the green tint issue and i have seen so many people freaking out of this issue since the past one year almost by now well thank you so much for watching this video that's pretty much it and uh, i will meet you all in the very next episode thank you so much for watching till the end let me know how is ios 15.1 beta going on for you and uh, peace out have a great day